Hello everybody, today we are going to be changing this uh, motion sensor security light over the garage door. It's a long time coming, the thing is pretty old. Let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, we got the uh, plastic here smashed, we've got some uh, you know, rust happening and flaking off of the paint. Old technology, so it's about time. We're going to show you what we're going to replace it with. So we've got this new LED motion sensor and also light sensor uh, security light for over the garage door um, I've got a link in the description and in the first pinned comment to where you can purchase it uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see um, how well this works for us we've got the settings underneath for the um, the distance at which it will detect someone for the uh, the uh, sensor for detection of motion, motion sensor. The light sensor, meaning at what point will it in, will it kick on? Will it be at dusk or will you, are you gonna set it? So that way it must be absolutely dark out before it'll work. And then this set, setting here is for how long the light will stay on once it is tripped. So do you want it on for a minute? Do you want it on for five minutes? There are various uh, settings here that you can set it and customize it for yourself and of course you can adjust the lights to whatever direction you want them in okay so first thing we have to do is turn off the power so that way we can take off the old fixture and okay, we also turned off the switch to, for additional protection and then once we get this off we're going to test the wires to make sure there's no power Okay, we're good to go there. Now we're gonna have to remove this so we can get to the wires. It looks like this thing was reinstalled when the siding was uh, put in. And I think this opening likely should have been made a little wider. We're gonna see what we can do about that once we get these wires out of here because they're just crammed in right now. Okay, didn't need to have you watch me cut this out a little bigger, so I did it off camera. I want to attach the, the ground first because I like to, and these things have to hang, and um, I also, since this is stranded wire, I stripped it a little longer than I normally do because I want to have it sticking out above the, uh, the other wires. When I twist, this thing will wrap around a bit I also want you to take notice that I put this gasket through the wires first. This thing will peel off here and stick around the outside. Uh, so right after we, we wire everything up, that'll, that is what will be done next. Okay, that's on tight. I'm gonna go with the load next, the black. Okay. And then the neutral. Get some of this wire in here first. Get it out of my way. I'm going to take this gasket off and attach it to the light.
Now they give you a plate to use, but the thing is, is this piece has already been in place. It already works. So I'm gonna put this right back and um, already tested the center screw for this. It definitely fits through here. So I'm just gonna replace this again and then we're gonna attach this to here and we're gonna, we're good to go. Okay, now we wanna make sure there's no wires behind here because this screw is gonna be going through. So we're just gonna push them out of the way. And these wires I can push in here and also there's a cavity here to capture them too. It's the hardest part is getting this screw lined up with that hole in the back. Pull the plastic pieces off. The screw adjustment on the side is not the best, quite honestly. But we're making the best of it here. We're going to uh, put the power back on and see if we can fool this thing into turning on by covering the sensor. Oh, we didn't have to fool anything, it just came on. Let's see if it, no, it shut off. We're going to adjust the sensors and play with the settings and we're going to check this again at night. Okay, we're going to walk towards the garage doors until it detects me and we get to see the what the lights look like as dogs bark in the background okay so I got about 15 feet away it's pretty bright 6500 uh, Kelvin temperature so it's very white, uh, cold temperature. It's pretty bright. Let's uh, get up here and turn around and face the other way. Someone's having a party in the distance. Yeah, it's definitely br very bright. Much brighter than the prior light that we had up here. You can see the difference in Kelvin temperature too. That front door light is about 2700 K and this is 6500. Huge difference. But definitely gives off plenty of light. Much more than the prior light. It is a couple of days later and uh, the security light is still working great. Had quite a few comments about how bright it is. It's lighting up everything like a football stadium. But the good news is, is being able to adjust it so that way the motion is not tripping it too far away from where the light is installed. I had a neighbor a few years ago where every time a car would drive down the street, their very annoying uh, garage light would go off. And um, so that's not the case here. Uh, if you w are interested in this product that I installed, it's in the description down below and also the first pinned comment. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time.